Hi, my name is Stu, and I'm with Product Management and Visual Analytics at SAS, and this is The Scatterplot. Now, I love The Scatterplot because it allows us to get so much information about our underlying data so easily. So first, we're gonna look at some car data, and this vehicle data set, this is actually just sashelp.cars. So, if you wanted to play along at home, feel free to load it up into Visual Analytics. And we are interested in figuring out how much money we need to spend in order to get a fast car. So let's go over to the measures tab here on the right for our rolls. We're gonna add horsepower as our first one, that's our x-axis. Then we're gonna select MSRP as our second one, that's our y-axis, and click OK. And there we go. Now we've got a scatter plot of horsepower and MSRP, and that looks like that increases pretty quadratically maybe? Well, let's confirm that. We'll go to Options, and we're gonna scroll down, and we're gonna go to Fit Line. Notice it says None. We're gonna click this, we're gonna do Best Fit, and this means Visual Analytics is going to figure out from all these different types of lines which one fits the data best. And there it is. Now we've got a line, and we can see it certainly is pretty quadratic, and uh, you need to really spend a lot of money to get a fast car. Maybe there's something along the lines of Maybe European vehicles are more expensive. Well, let's take a look at that. We'll go back to roles, go to color, and now we're gonna add in origin. And just like we thought, European vehicles tend to be more expensive, but they also tend to be much faster. You could see up here these cluster of points of all European vehicles. So maybe we wanna consider Asian vehicles or USA vehicles. Well, I want to get a little bit more information from this. So I'm going to go ahead and remove my best fit line. I'm going to go back to roles. Now I'm going to create a bunch of different scatter plots. And this lattice columns option, this creates multiple scatter plots kind of like a group. So we're going to select that. We're going to go to drivetrain here. And what drivetrain is going to do is help me figure out whether it's rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. And I live in beautiful, sunny Cary, where it doesn't really snow more than three times a year, so I really don't care about all-wheel drive. In fact, I'd rather get rear-wheel drive, because it's a lot more fun. And you can see, there's a couple of cars here that might be interesting for us. So here, we could see there's this car here that's 25 grand for 285 horsepower, and this one here that's Asian for 26 grand, 287 horsepower. Well, I don't know what that is, so I'm going to go to my data tip values, and I'm going to add make and model. We'll click OK. Now I'm going to hover over this, and there it is. It's a Nissan 350Z rear-wheel drive. Well, that looks like a lot of fun and relatively affordable for nearly 300 horsepower. So that's pretty cool. But of course, gas is pretty expensive right now, and I'm a little bit more interested, too, in what types of vehicles get the best miles per gallon. I'm going to remove drivetrain from my lattice columns, and I'm going to create a couple more scatter plots. So notice here, we have two. We can add in another scatter plot. We'll click on Add, go to MPG Highway, and click OK. And look at that, we've created a matrix of multiple scatter plots showing MPG Highway, MSRP, and horsepower, all of these right here. And clearly, the more horsepower you get, the less miles per gallon that you're going to get. And it seems that, interestingly, cheaper cars tend to give us the best miles per gallon. And we can explore this all in real time just by hovering over each point. And of course, if you wanted to add filters or explore your report more, you can certainly do that. But we'll save that for another video. And that is how easy it is to use a scatter plot in Visual Analytics. There's plenty of options in a scatter plot to adjust, so feel free to play around with them. Check out the links in the description below. Join the Visual Analytics SAS Communities Forum where you can chat with other Visual Analytics users. I'm there posting questions and other people just like you are there. And for more tips and tricks just like these, subscribe to the SAS Users YouTube channel.